remember that because of the cold, Albion gets a minus one um, to all of his rolls. Juan, because he is used to African weather, which is very hot, normally Juan would get a minus two penalty on all his rolls. But because Juan drank the potion, he has no penalty. So it was very smart yeah. to give Juan, of all people, the potion, yeah. which is more effective than the paste that um, was made. So, good strategy there. Yeah, we did something right. <laughs> Roxana, it's all <laughs> right. Like to be honest. So, in addition to that, every single house, because of you chose House Wampus, every single house gets a special boon on top of the boon that I've just talked about. So, everybody on Team Wampus gets the blessing of the Wampus. And what that means is once per event, like this one, you may take advantage on any strength or nimbleness roll. Oh. So that's in addition to the advantage I already gave you. So this is just the blessing of the Wampus. This applies to this event and all other events. If you are about to take any strength or nimbleness based roll, you may gain advantage of it. Lose it, use it or lose it for that event. Use it or lose it. Well, I'm okay. using it. <laughs> I'm using it. I am winning this freaking game, okay? I'm winning it. <laughs> Kazima Valentin will say, I would like for a representative of each house team to come forward for the coin toss. Do you mind if I go? Which is going to be a game roll, uh, FYI. Think, a game's yeah. roll. I think we should uh, have rocks go to get the crowd going on our side more than it is already. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Okay, guys. How about, like, the, the person of that place represents us for that that event. So yeah. when we go to Africa, it's you won. When I like we go that. to Japan, it's Al. Yeah, yeah, well, that sounds like that's a good idea. Okay, I'll go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, then one of you could go for when we're in Brazil, because they don't even like me over there. <laughs> oh, come on, Levi. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> She's gonna, like... Bumble. <laughs> oh, <it's> All right. <laughs> roll your um, games roll, please. Chance, obviously, is going to be rolling for uh, his game. Uh, of obviously. course he is. Chance is going to roll the better of two rolls. He gets an 18. Woo. So Toby will have rolled. Whoever's rolling for Toby, um, that have would have been a 7. Toby seven. would have 7. So... Because team Horns, uh, because the Pakwaji team won the toss-up, they get to decide. Do you want to pick your position on the field first, second, or last? And they're looking, uh, they're, they're like um, huddling with each other, and they're going to say, we will pick our position on the field second. We'll pick second. All right. You want first. Roxana, you want to pick your field on the first? Uh, yeah, first, first please. <laughs> please. Okay. That means by default that the Horn Serpent will get whatever position is left. So, Roxana, you can see the field out of character on roll 20. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So looking at the field, do you want to be on the north position, the west position, or the east position? Um, we want... What do you guys think? Look, I don't know. Look, in sport, in normal sports, the wind matters. Where the wind is going really matters. So I don't know if this is like that, but we want the wind going away from our goal to the back of Al, because that way yeah. the ball would come at him a little slower. Can we do a wind check? A wind. <laughs> knowledge, nature, please. Knowledge, nature. Knowledge. That's what he does. I have plus four knowledge. I'm pretty sure that I'll have more than that. Yeah, my knowledge is a base plus seven. Oh yeah, you're yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Right, Let I us know where the wind is, please. Albion, you believe that the based on the forecast today, what you can deduce is the forecast, that generally speaking, the wind is blowing south. Generally. So we would want the north. Alright. 
Roxy, get us get us the goals over there, and he will point to the north. I think that's going to help us with, with the wind. It's already freezing, so we need every advantage we can get. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we will take the north, please. <laughs> All right. Magically, the Wampus banner will appear on the north side. Da, 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 da. <laughs> nice. Can it's we like have the same stuff like <laughs> Fuckwaji team will go to the west, and that means that leaves the east to the Horned Serpent. Now that the Pukko- now that the teams are set up, everyone will mount their brooms. Now, is it only Roxana's team that has Rockstar on, or do all of the trees have Rockstar on Ooh, it? Ooh, that's a I wasn't question. sure. Um, I thought it was all the teams too. <laughs> I I don't know, I'm, but it could just be just us. Let us be special. Uh, no, it's just us. <laughs> It'll just be us. Okay. I feel like we get in That's trouble good. for painting on everyone else's brooms. Probably. <laughs> Probably. In that case, <laughs> I kind of want to say, yeah, they're all painted, because she no, would. No, 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 don't get us disqualified. We already have everything again. Like, out of character, do you think that would be a, a disqualifiable offense? Because it's too paint. I don't think it's disqualifiable. Okay, she did it then. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna start in the negatives, thanks. We're negative 10 points right now. <sighs> They're gonna sigh, and I'm gonna say, Naila is saying, okay, that was good, that was good. Chessa is just going to like take her wand, and she's just going to like cast a spell to like clean off the, uh, the rock star. Um, and um, I'm gonna say that uh, on Nico's and um, I'm gonna say that on Nico's team, they're like, eh, we're just gonna leave it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna leave it, whatever. <laughs> so. Um, Roxy will just quickly call out to Chessa. Come on, Chessa, where is your team spirit? <laughs> She'll stop laughing. <laughs> Uh, Chess is gonna give you a little bit of a I'm not that I'm not very amused yeah. kind of look. <laughs> like, it's okay. She's like, what's? I don't think she likes you at the moment mm. right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> so go ahead and go give your speech. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm gonna I bring up the board game. I'm gonna be making silence and be like, yeah, you can't do this. I'm gonna be like, come on, guys, come on. We gotta circle up here. Let's circle up. And he's gonna get them together. He's gonna be like, all right, guys. It's game day right now. Today is the day we prove to everybody that we are more than just a swampus. Yeah, the swampus. We're gonna show everybody that we are a cohesive team here. I, look, I know some of us are, are scared. I know some of us are excited and that's natural. Look, everybody around us don't have superpowers. They all feel the same way we're feeling right now. And we're gonna come out here. We're gonna come out fast and strong and hard. And we're gonna make sure that they know who we are because we dedicated this game to Miwa. Ain't that right, guys? No. Oh. I know my name. Ain't that right, guys? Yeah. Yeah! 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 <laughs> right, we're gonna we come can in, do this. We're gonna show them that we're not losers, and that we're not gonna be winless, and that we are winners. Who's with me? Put your hands in. <laughs> I'm with you. Um, All right, let's go. Me. Let's go. All right. Team Swampus on three. One, two, three! Team Swampus! Yeah! <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Awesome, Levi. Roll me an Inspire, please. Yes! <laughs> and we are right. not inspired out and, and I would say for that, I know he's full, but if he didn't have any courage points, I think Levi would get a courage point for that. <laughs> if, yeah. Use your courage on the Inspire roll. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> With the inspiration for the next five rounds, please keep help me keep track. For the next five rounds, everyone gets a plus one on all of their rolls. Yes! Plus one on all five of their rounds. rolls for the next five rounds. Ooh, all right. Jackets. <laughs> uh, like the move, like jacket. All right. So now that everybody is in position, we have Finn as the beater, Chessa as the keeper, Naila as the chaser, and Chance as the seeker. On Chance Team Pukwudgie, Chance is the seeker. Oh. We have on the Pukwud, we have on the Horn Serpent. We have Nico, obviously, as the chaser. Toby as the keeper. Aika as the beater, and Tritessa as the seeker. 
All right. I just realized that the other chaser is Nico, and I don't know what I'm going to do about that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to go again, so. All right. Move your move your um, characters, please, in position. I would the chaser should be up front. So, I go ahead and first roll your regular initiative. Everyone roll your regular initiative, which is a swiftness. I think it's a swiftness. No. Check. Anything yeah, swiftness check. Swiftness. All right. So now. The last thing that we're gonna do to set this up is the chasers. So that's Naila and Nico and Levi. Wait, Naila you have to is roll. a chaser? Yeah. Naila is a chaser. You all have to roll another swiftness to determine who will catch the quaffle first. Who oh, gets that's the quaffle not first. initiative, right? That is still initiative. Yeah. It's no. still initiative. <laughs> so that's only the chasers. I only need the chasers to roll for me. Okay. So that means Naila gets the quaffle. So, so we're gonna. So, so what you end up seeing is everybody is getting ready. Um, we have Boris Hooch. He's holding the quaffle. Um, down below, um, there are a bunch of Ilvermory students who are opening up the case. The bludgers, two of them, start to fly out, as well as the golden snitch, <laughs> and it just zips out of sight. It goes moves super super fast, so it zips out of sight. And then Boris Hooch looks around. He tells everyone, "Good luck. You'll need it." And we'll throw the quaffle up in the air. The quaffle is released right now. Vetlana Proskovia. She is going to be like, she's going to be the announcer, and so she's like giving the play-by-play. And she will say, "The quaffle has been released and has been caught by Naila El Hakim." The Sagittarius uh, champion from House Takwaji. And everyone goes, goes wild. Takwaji! Yes! So she has the ball. She has the quaffle. The bludgers fly around. I'm just gonna like throw them in these directions. Uh, and the gold snitch will go out of view for the time being. So I would like for Levi to go first. So, Levi, the way that it works again is you have two actions. Ooh. Probably the most basic action is the close action, which is just a ride broom. Depending on how high you roll for your ride broom, you can roll, depends on how much distance you can make while riding the broom. I'm gonna observe for the, the snitch, right? Yes. Yes, you can observe, so roll your 2d6 observe to see if you can see the snitch. It's, Can't it's see the switch just yet. Okay. Remember your courage points as well. But I, also, it's a 20. You need a 20 to find the snitch. Yeah, I could use all three to get it right now. If you want to, it's up to you. If you want to use all three of your courage points now, it's up to you. No, no, no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to okay, wait. Okay, just wait. All right. And the other chaser is going to find it, and Seeker is going to find it immediately. going to be like, boom! <laughs> Hopefully not. Nico rolls a ride broom. 2d6 plus 7. Whoever is rolling for Nico, he got a 12. He is um, going to. Uh, I'll roll again. He gets dis- He gets an advantage on this. Nico gets an advantage. Fifteen. That's what I needed. Okay. No. So, Nico um, yells something to his group, and he says, "All right, team. Just like we talked about, Parkins Pincer." And he yells out Parkins Pincer to his team, no. and. It looks like both Tritessa and Aika know exactly what he's talking about, and they're going to begin their maneuver. Go ahead. Roxana, you're up. Okay, so um, right now the bludger... Can I tell if it's going towards anyone in particular? So the bludger tends to go to whoever is the closest. Mm-hmm. Right now, um, the closest bludger on the left seems to be closest to Chance, and the other one seems to be closest to Tobias. Choices. Okay, so I want to move as close as possible to this one. My movement is six yards. I don't think I can get very close, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, go ahead. Roll roll me a ride broom. Remember your plus two bonus that you get automatically. Yee. I'll just go ahead and put plus four just the same time. And don't forget your plus one for being inspired. Oh, like yeah. I did. I- 
14. All right, you're gonna be able to move um, eight squares. Cool. So I will. You will go. So I will move you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how far you get. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you have another action. Worry. You can move again, if you'd like. It's up to you. Or you can do something else. Um, can I get closer? Yeah. Roll again. Cool. Roll another ride broom. What's that? I can't find Roxanne. It, it doesn't take my um. She's it. No, it won't take the um. Sorry, the bon the plus one bonus from Levi's speech will it for this part? The bonus action. It will. It will. Oh, cool. Yeah, for I the first five rounds. Oh, okay. It applies yeah. for the first five oh, rounds. Just okay. blanket first five rounds. 13, eight squares. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Is it, so it's That's closest close to me now, right? It's closest to you now. Cool. So it'll go towards you. Okay. All right. Aika Ayumide is going to roll his roll right room. Whoever is rolling is keeping track of Aika. Aika Ayumide, his right room. He gets a plus three. So, he gets a 13, so he will be able to move 8. So he is going to go... Aika was supposed to help with the formation, so he would have moved here. This bludger is going to roll... Um, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to try to hit Chance, so it's going to roll an attack roll against Chance to try to hit him. All right, I mean, 2D6. chance is really small. What's the chance that the bull actually hit him? What's the chance? <laughs> it just needs to hit his broom and knock him off. That's what I'm afraid of. Range combat bludger plus six. Okay, Ooh. so he gets a, adds a plus six. Oh god. So, the, to try to hit against his defense, ten. Chance's defense is nine. So, um... Oh. Chance will take 2d6 plus 4 points of damage. So that's 12 points of damage on Chance. Oh, leave my boy alone. Chance doesn't have a lot of hit points, unfortunately. That, that kills me. Roxana moving has killed Chance. <laughs> so Chance goes down two wound levels. Two wound levels. So... He's no. his hit point. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. The poor guy. Oh my god! That makes so. Friend, I could use a little help here, a little bit. <laughs> All right, Toby no. is up. He is holding his action, like waiting for the quaffle if it comes towards him. The second bludger will now move towards Roxana. Roxana, your defense. My defense is. Yes. Not good. Oh, it's nine. It's all right. Nine. Who rolled the fourteen? All right, I did. 14. Uh -huh. um, now, Roxana, the problem is because you already used up your actions, you used both actions, you can't react to this. Oh, God. So you actually had to hold your action to be able to swat at the bludger when it reaches you. Uh. But, but because you didn't, unfortunately, you are about to take 13 points of damage. Okay, so I go down. I go down like one. Wound level. I have like level? one point because I have seven health, so I'm like yeah. one point left on like my second wound level. Right. And remember that with depending on what wound level you're on, you're gonna start taking penalties yeah. for rolls. That's why I think I only moved once. Yeah, that's why you can only yeah, because he's ready. He's getting ready. Mm. So it would have moved okay. one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who there. rolled up fourteen? The, the, the it was the bludger. Yeah, that was... Okay. Oof. That's the bludger's movement. Albion, you're up. Hold turn. Hold turn. Tritessa. She um, is going to roll. So she actually got um, a nine for her ride room. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as soon as the two of them are like in position, um, now, because Nico held his action, he is going to zoom um, towards um, Naila, and she seems to be like a little um, intimidated by the fact that these two people seem to be pincering her, closing in on her, and um, nice, with an 11, 
um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Nico just swoops past and grabs the quaffle. <laughs> and everyone just goes wild and they're saying, yeah, horde serpent, horde serpent. And Nico, like he has the waffle in one hand and then he has like the, he's doing like a bob with the other hand and the crowd's just loving it, like absolutely loving it. And he is uh, making his way there. Chance, Chance is going to roll spots check and because he's taking two actions. So he's gonna take one action to spot. So his spot observe is actually pretty good. Chance observe is... He rolled an eight to spot, which is not enough. Um, but if for his second action, he's going to dodge. So he's gonna take a dodge action to try to defend himself from being hit next. Chessa, she's holding her action and she's got her eyes non-intimidated at all. She's got her eyes like on, on, um, on um, Nico. She's ready for him. Uh, she's sort of like taking a bit of a defensive stance on her tree. She's standing on her tree right now and taking Whoa. a defensive trance. She's standing on it, take a defensive. Um, Naila is up and Naila looks up and says, oh, nice try, Nico. And she's going to roll her broom. Naila gets a, gets a one on this roll. She rolled a six, which is okay. Oh, what? Um, to move. She is going to attempt to grab the ball if she can. So she's going to do a melee unarmed attack. Um, and that is for Naila. She doesn't get any bonuses. Ten. Um, she manages to uh, grab the quaffle away from Nico. <laughs> I'll take this. Nico was clearly distracted because he was like getting a little bit too full of himself and that easily let Naila grab the ball from him. Juan, you're up. Okay. okay. I'm going to move. Towards what or who? Towards Naila. 10, yeah, oh, 10 anyway. 10, you will be able to move eight squares. You want me to move two towards Naila? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You yeah. can roll a melee unarmed attack to try to grab the to try to grab the uh, quaffle. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna uh, let me go check. You have to beat Naila's defense. Okay. That. My melee attack, I have a quaffle, so I just roll. No, no, no. I I rolled badly. I put 25 and I put six. Four. No. Okay. Never mind. Don't forget you get plus one. On the oh, then it's a five. All right. Then it's a five. It's a five. Unfortunately, it won't be enough. Right, broom. Whoever is um, roll, keeping track of of Finn, he got a nine for right, broom. He is going to go up to here. He's going to fly by ch chance. One, um, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six. As he's flying by, he's going to make a, a melee attack on the bludger. Roll 2d6. Um, melee club. For him, it's a plus six. Oh, God. <laughs> it's really strong. Uh. 11. That's going to hit it. He's going to shoot the bludger towards Nico because he's the biggest threat right now. Yes. So Nico oh. is going to take 2d6 plus 4 plus... Finn's strength roll, oh. which is a six. Oh. Which is so this is gonna hurt a lot, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, sixteen points of damage to Nico. Oh. Gets like uh, pounded on the shoulder. Nico kind of goes, <sighs> yelps in pain. Okay, and the bludger goes <laughs> this way towards Albion's direction. Great. Albion, um, with the quaffle moving towards your direction, if you want to take an action to um, to bat it back with your with the tree, you may, or you can try to dodge. It's up to you. I would try to dodge. You will try to dodge. All right. So go ahead and roll 
for dodge, I think the rule is you need to roll a uh, swiftness. All right. So all of my so my minus one for cold cancels out with my plus one from Levi right now. Correct. All right. Roll me a swiftness. Uh, I should have stayed there. Nine. Not enough. Oh god. Very, Fortunately, very... it's not. God, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, can I use courage? Cur- yes, you may. Do you really want to use courage to? Yes. <laughs> No, no, yes. you may. We're not doing too To not crash. fall off your broom, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, yeah. We're not doing too crash hot right now. Does he get any perks at all for the wind against his back? <laughs> well, if anything, the wind is... Yes, so because of the wind, it, it actually bit, right? slows down the bludger a little bit. So with normally you would need a 13, but... Um, I'm sorry, you, you rolled a 9. Yeah. Is that plus, plus your courage would be a 12. You need a 13, but because of the wind factor, you just manage to dodge the bludger um, as it sails past your shoulder. Woo! Sports knowledge, guys. Levi, back to the top of the round. Levi, a little observe. 13. Still not uh, enough. But uh, am I inspired by my own speech? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right, I, I, yeah, I think you revved yourself up. I think you pumped yourself up. So you yes, so that's a 14, you can use two which is still not 20. Points. Yeah, I'm going to use two courage points to make that a 20 to find the this, this snitch. Yes. All right. Um, I am going to roll oh, a 1d12 to determine where it is. 12. So it is actually... <gasps> Levi. Oh, my Levi. God. Oh, my God. Oops. Where is the point? Where is it? (laughs) Only Levi can see it right now. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll have a a little advantage getting there. If only I had that ring that could make my broom, like, turn better. You, it's, it's hard to see for anyone else because it's, because of the color of the snitch matches the color of the, um, wampus symbol. But if you look at the wampus symbol, it's like covering the cat's face right now. Uh, it's covering uh, over the cat's face. Run, uh, Levi, run. I'm going to use my second action to fly over there. Broom is plus. I know I put a lot into this. Plus six. All right. Come on. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so going to catch it fast. You need to get this because we are. Yeah, because I'm. Because <laughs> we're not looking too good. I can't do <laughs> my well, well, you'll be able to move eight. Eight? I'm going to move eight straight forward towards, uh, oh, oh maybe I should go One, two, three, four, five, six, Remember, seven, eight. So you're just above move. that hoop. If, if you see the other chasers go near you, you can try and use a maneuver to make, make them fall or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to just chase the snitch. All right. It's all right. I'm gonna. I know what I'm gonna do with this friggin' bludger, and it's a bit mean, but it might. Just it send it over the speaker. Okay. Nico is up, building up some adrenaline from the pain. Nico manages to make a swift action to grab the quaffle from Naila. He's gonna try to score against Chessa. Oh, he's got oh. this. Good one. So he's gonna roll over. He's going to try to shoot. Two d six ranged quaffle. He's got a seven on this one. Oh god. Oh, Eighteen. Oh, god. oh gosh. All right. So there, there might be a chance she might make a critical. So oh. she is going to try to use her um, defense. Come on, Chuck. Come, Come on. on. Come on. You're the best at everything. Come on. I would love if you got a crit here. She actually has her mag foo. She's going to be using her mag foo to like attempt to like block the um, the uh, uh, the quaffle. So she gets a plus set. Oh, Fifteen. Oh, so dang it. she's 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 she basically like you know does her little knuckles thing, ha, and then she tries to use um, her mag foo to defend. The quaffle just barely passes by her. And then goes into the goes into the hoop. Um, you hear the crowd cheer and say yes. And Nico says, "Nice try, Chessa. Maybe next time." 
And Chessa like looks at Nico um, very calmly, and then she will she will say she will kind of point to him and she'll say, "Yeah, next time, next time." <laughs> Boris will enchant the quaffle to go back to the center, towards the center. Actually, no, we're gonna keep the action going. So I'm gonna say all of the chasers once again roll initiative. No. Just to keep it. Please. Because I got a I got a plan. I got a plan. It's gonna be rich. So that swiftness. Fuck. What? Ah. <laughs> Five. Oh. Five? Okay. I don't have good initiative. I have the a flood that makes my initiative shit. Who's that 13 for? Who? That's for Nayla. Nayla? Since so Nayla. So since um Nico's team scored and Nayla got higher than Juan, Nayla will have the, the quaffle next. So Nayla now has the quaffle currently. Just to keep things moving. Gotcha. Sounds good. Roxana, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna do something really mean. I want to bludger bash. I'm gonna fly up to the bludger and I wanna bludger bash it over here. And I want to try and- Towards, okay. I want to try and hit Naila. Okay, oh. go ahead. <laughs> this is so mean. I'm for my boy Chan. My girl. Uh -huh. you, you gotta do, you, it's the game. You gotta I'm, do I'm you gotta hoping, do what you gotta I'm do. Just, I'm hoping to draw like, everyone into that one corner so like everyone's distracted okay yeah Four slash r i thought you were, you were going ride to ride room can. should i roll a ride yeah. first roll the ride first just so i know how far just don't fail just don't get a critical fail that's that's really <laughs> all i'm checking for please eight you're fine <laughs> you're fine okay. So you can move up to six if you'd like. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and as you're passing by, you can try to hit it. So roll a melee club. Yeah. Melee club right. to hit it. Let's roll down to see what I have. Um, so that'll be like my regular melee and then plus my specialty, just to clarify. And the plus yes. one because of plus one fire. Plus one because of the inspiration. This is round two, round two. Yep, and correct me if I'm oh, wrong. Yeah. Because my wound level is down, do I I take minus one? Yes, yes. because of your wound level, you take oh, minus yes, one yes. because of your wound level. I get that level. bonus already, so that bonus is down to three rounds, eleven. Eleven. Yeah. All right. So you will be able to hit the bludger, um, and that does actually um, pass. Nayla's defense. Oh, because Nayla is an eight. Sorry, Hawk. Correction. Um, it takes if you're trying because just because of the difficulty, it takes a minus two as well. So that should be nine. Yeah, because it's still higher than her defense. Okay. So that will still hit her. So uh, it's a two. Roll me a two d six plus four plus if you have any strength modifier. Um. If you have any. Oh God. Sorry, Nayla. I love you. Eleven. Uh, no. All right. I just beat oh, Nayila. Oh, sorry. What's that? Poor Nayila. <laughs> oh. So that is ten. Is it a ten? Yeah. Ouch. All right. Ah. <laughs> she. It's, so she drops the quaffle. Roll. Um, I'm gonna have one. Please roll. Uh, I'm gonna say nimbleness or acrobatics. Nimbleness or acrobatics. Okay. Um, set. Six? Of course. Um, the, you, I'm going to say you're going to attempt to catch the quaffle, but not quite able to catch it. The quaffle is going to start falling towards the ground. And Nayla will mutter under breath that says, Okay, this is as, as much fun as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Nayla, are you okay? Just don't fall, please. And then I'm going to go down, chasing the, the quaffle. Okay. The golden snitch. Mm. Um, all right, it's gonna move. Ah, nice. It's gonna zip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. So it's gonna start to make a move. It's gonna take two move actions. No. Ah. No. <laughs> ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually making its way to chance. No. Towards no. chance. But he doesn't see it though. He doesn't see it, guys. He hasn't he seen see it, it yet, but it's closer. 
But he hasn't yeah. seen it yet. I should have hit him with the friggin' bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets so far. That guy's luck, man. <laughs> All right, Aika is up. He is going to roll his broom. Anyone who's keeping track of Aika, his ride broom is going to be a plus three, which is you know, 12. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to take the bludger and he's going to swing. So anyone again who's keeping track of Aika, his melee club is going to be a plus two. That's going to be enough. Um, what is what is um, your defense, Quan? Oh, uh, eight. Actually, it was a plus five. Sorry, it was a thirteen. That's a thirteen. So he okay. is going to hit the bludger towards Quan. So two d six plus four plus his strength modifier, which is a two. So plus two. Juan, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage from the bludger. Yep. And now both bludgers are, are closer towards oh, okay. Albion yep. at the moment. I need to be like, ah! And that oh. was Aika that oh. did that last hit? Oh, poor, yeah. Poor Nayala. Yeah, he did a 13. Yes. Um, and remember, keep your wound levels. Keep track of your wound levels, Juan. Okay. Okay. This bludger is closest. It's technically like you dodged it, so the bludger is actually over here, um, and it's actually closer to Levi slightly. So it is going to make a ranged attack on Levi against your defense. What is your defense, Levi? Levi's defense is not bad actually. It is eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, not enough. It's going to it's hit you. I thought. 12 hit points, 12 points of damage. Okay. I'm on my way, guys. <laughs> Please, you yeah, went. I'm on my way. I know. Far away. I, I got too, I got too emotional and I went too far away. <laughs> I was trying to protect the boy. <laughs> Who were you trying to protect? I was trying to protect Toby. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's been the best out of all it of was, us. He's out there even had the move. <laughs> Listen, the world can burn yeah. as long as Toby does uh, Let him defend himself. Let him defend himself. All right, all right, we're doing it now. You get your mind to this game. What is your defense, um, what is your defense, Albion, as the second bludger is coming towards you? <laughs> Seven. Seven, all right. It's going to hit you unless you dodge again or try to bat it away. What would you like to do? I'm gonna try to dodge because I can't bat. <laughs> All right. It's going to be another swiftness, please. You have to be the 13. You Come have on. to be the 13. Remember Come your on. courage points Not as well. Yet, you have courage you points this. too. You only four. Oh, F. critical fail. All uh, right. You fail. are going to. S so you are going to try to dodge this um, this uh, bludger. So the good news is um, the the the. Bludger sails past you, but the bad news is the reason it sails past you is because you lose your balance and you start to fall <gasps> off your broom. So you're starting to fall. Did you give him the wand? No, I no. Don't. No, he doesn't have the wand. Who has the wand? Who has the? I got it. Still, Juan has the wand. Juan does. I'm strong enough. Juan I can grab has... him. I can grab him. He's you're a... right there. You are right there. And he's so. a... I'm strong enough. I'm sure I can grab him. Grab him. It is Albion's turn now, but you are falling off the off the tree, Albion. What do you, would you like to do now that you're falling off the tree? I mean, can I make an attempt to hold on to a branch or something? Um, yes. I, if you want to try to catch yourself, roll me an acrobatics roll, please. This is gonna be bad. Uh, one, I got a four. Four? Yeah. Not enough. Oh, God. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now I'm gonna... <laughs> not not a quaffle for me. Yeah. You know what? You just focus on the quaffle. <laughs> I, uh... I'm I don't gonna, think like, we're try gonna and... get there. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you're before me. 
Yeah, no, I'm. I have to use the Quapo and go get Al. Don't How worry, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get How you. How cold is it? It's snowing. If I attempted to cast a spell of water, would it like? Could I like make some ice to slide down? Or is that is that far? Do you have a spell? Do you have a spell that conjures water? Yes, I have the fountain spell. Okay. Wait, um, isn't isn't it illegal to use spells during uh, that? Okay, you, you're told the rules will say you're specifically not allowed to use spells unless it's for survival. Okay, then go so ahead. If you're falling off a broom, you can roll whatever you can cast whatever spell you want to prevent yourself from injuring yourself from falling off the broom. So is that what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, I think I don't have anything else to try, so I'm going to try to cast a, a fountain spell to create a sheet of ice to okay. slide down. Okay, so this is something that um, it's very creative. Um, so what I'm going to ask you is, I will either ask you to roll a focus check or ignore the focus check completely before you attempt to cast a spell and use up a courage point. Uh, I don't... I don't see focus. What's that under? Concentration. Sorry. You're able to tune out distractions such as noise and pain to carry through with the task at hand. It's a make a stamina test. Okay, so it's actually a TN12 stamina test. Okay, I can um, do that. That's what you want to do? All right. Yeah. Roll it. Roll the stamina, please. Oh, oh no! This is all my friend. <laughs> yes. You made it! Yes! Yes! That would have been so cool. So, I still now have to cast you, can, spell you have to still have to cast a spell correctly, yes. Yeah. But you you can take it with no penalty. You can try to cast a spell with no penalties. Alright. So. You still get the you still get the minus one plus one that cancels out, so just roll. Alright, so the, the casting it's only a TN of five. Stop this. <laughs> Please. Then you should be fine. It is a conjuration, which I get a... I get a plus 11 in that, so do I need to roll? Just don't roll, Just roll don't a critical, critical fail. fail. Right. Just don't critical fail. He's like Elsa right now. Let it go. He is like Elsa. Nice. <laughs> so, AJ, can you visually show us what's happening so cool. as you're falling? What's happening as you're falling? Uh, Sh painted in our heads. I kind of imagine that when he went to dodge the bl bludger, he was actually trying the starfish move that Nico taught him to like hang, and it obviously backfired and he started to lose his grip, so he tried to grab and was unsuccessful, so the next thing he did is he reached for his wand as quickly as he could and just kind of aimed it below him as he fell and conjured the water, hoping it would freeze or somehow delay mm -hmm. the fall. Is it like a slide? Is it like a, what does it look like? Yeah, I think it was just like, kind of like a slide of water. I don't know how fast it would freeze, so it may still not work exactly how he thought, but he kind of just shoots it out in this like arc to like lead him to, to the ground if it freezes. Right. Nice. I love um, it. When, as you do that, so as you're starting to fall, a bunch of the crowd gasps, and then they see you like pull out your wand and cast a spell. And as soon as you do that, people are like, Yes! Yeah! They start cheering and they start they start going, Scorpio! 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 <laughs> Alright. So um, do I land on the ground then without my tree? Not for, well, in six seconds you haven't reached the ground yet. Okay. So you're still sliding right. currently. Okay, then I can focus with me getting the quaffle. During Tritessa's turn, she she's looking around and then you hear her call out, Ha! 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 She, she, she yells out. Huh. And that'll be her turn. Okay. I wonder what's about to happen. Okay, <laughs> well, like, at this point, Juan, you... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't tell him that in the middle of a game. No. Because you're not I'm next I'm saying to him, it with my right? eyes. <laughs> <laughs> eyes Why do you want me to use the hoop? There's nothing for me to use the hoop on. I mean, he's... He's fine, isn't he? All right, Chance rolls his spot. He rolled a 13 for people who are keeping track of Chance. He rolled a 13 on his spot. So when he sees you, when he sees the snitch, he says, oh, I figured if I just planted myself in some random spot, huh. my luck will eventually help me. And he just kind of, he just gets himself on the broom and he's just like holding out his hands. 
like waiting for the for the snitch to like just come towards him because it is way. coming towards him. You really saw mm. it. He's lucky. <laughs> that on a, out of character, that was his plan all along. He was just not gonna move because he can't move very well. He's just gonna stay in one place, and eventually it'll just come to him, which it did. <laughs> That lucky, lucky mofo. All right, um, Chessa, she is going to, again, get into her stance again and be prepared for whatever's gonna happen next. Naila, um, the quackle is still falling to the ground. So Naila isn't one to give up. So she is going to continue to try to um, go after the quackle, even though she is pretty badly injured. So she's going to use her ride broom. She's got some penalties because she's hurting pretty badly. So she actually gets a minus two in this roll, but she's gonna try. Eight, okay, sure. She'll manage to catch up to the broom and I'll do a, me a melee unarmed, which is going to be minus one. All right, I will say she will be able to scoop up the quaffle. So she currently has the quaffle right now, but she's a little bit lower than Juan. So Juan, if you want to go after the quaffle, you do have to use a ride broom to go down a little lower no. to her, okay. if you want to. It's up to you. Oh, it's my turn? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's your turn, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna ride get down there with her. I'm ride to broom, roll ride broom. It's not gonna be that far, so you're fine. So now you have to do an unarmed, if you want to take the quaffle, use an unarmed melee attack against her defense. Seven. Okay. Seven? Um, not quite able to take it from her. Not quite. Can I use a courage right. point? I'm just getting angry. Yes, you can. Right Absolutely. Now. Yes. All right. <laughs> you use a courage point. I quaffle one. Yes. Yes, you can. All right. Yes. That's what courage points are for, man. So, um, yeah, you got it. And beeline for Toby. Yeah. Yeah, because I everyone's behind you. Way. So like beeline to that one. Okay, I'm gonna move to where Toby is. Yeah, I reckon that's even All right. Um, you're, you rolled a 10, so you can roll up to eight squares. So you just wanna go towards Toby's direction? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'll say. And you have the quaffle with you. Nice. All right. I get <laughs> Cover me, Roxanne. I gotcha. Finn. Two, three, six. He's going to roll his broom. If anyone who's keeping track of Finn, he uh, gets a nine. So he rolled a nine as ride broom. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's moving that way. And we're gonna say he's going to um, hold his action in case the bludgers come towards him. Seeker Levi, you're up. Ride broom. Ah, oh, why ride do broom. I keep doing that? <laughs> um, Brendan, would Levi have his arm outstretched just in case? For what? Like, to catch, like he might not make it there, but will he have his arm outstretched? Uh, slash I don't. R, Brandon. Ah, so, uh, uh, slash R. Why do I keep doing that? Because I'm gonna try something a little ballsy that I think I'm gonna have to ask out a character if it's allowed. But that'll be on my turn. Eleven. Yeah. All right, you will be able to move up to eight squares. So eight. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can move again if you'd like. Oh boy. So where am I right there? Yeah, I won't be able to reach for it though if I move towards it, but... If, if you're moving towards it, I'll let you make an attempt to catch. Oh, then I'll definitely do that. I'll let you make an attempt. Remember, remember, you're blessed. Yep, 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 remember yep, the yep, advantage yep. as well. <laughs> I remember all of it. I think you should take your advantage now. <laughs> yeah. To fly when to it? Yeah. No, Just when use he it, you still have courage. When he he's, trying to to he's trying to catch it now. No, he's trying no, to No, no, I, I gotta fly up to it and then I'll okay. get it. He has to fly up to it first. All right, well, just remember, so. yeah, your advantage and then your blessing. I'd say use your advantage now and then use your your blessing to catch it. I'm gonna use none of that. Honestly, double Let's down. Go. Eight. 
Okay. And now use so everything. So you can go right up to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like you you're... can fly by and catch it right now if you want. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> I'm gonna catch it. All right. Use your advantage. With advantage. With advantage. All right. Yeah, I think it's an unarmed melee to oh. catch it if I remember correctly. Oh, you guys, I'm so good at remember those. Remember your plus one because of your firing. Yes, I'm so good at unarmed stuff oh too. Oh my god. Oh my it's god, this would be legendary if you did it right. Yeah, I'm Come catching catch right it. now. Catch I'm catching it. All right, let me make sure. Please, this will be perfect. One of you have the quaffle in his hands. He will feel like he did something. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy did right. nothing but kind of screw the team over, so... You're doing better than her. Yeah. Actually, that's gonna be pretty interesting. She almost screwed everyone. Because Six. She well, the good thing is because the bludgers are up there, you're safe. And if you fly behind me, like, I'm... I'm yeah, you can protect me. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Okay. The bludger, the, the the snitch does have a chance to dodge, okay? okay? And it gets a plus seven bonus to dodge. So my Wait. question before I roll the dodge, do you want to use a courage point? I will you, use you, courage you and inspiration. I'm using everything right now. This is my one time. You added your one because of your inspiration. It's not a 13. Oh, I didn't roll that. Did I? No, I didn't roll. That was my right broom. Yeah, uh, that was your right broom. Ah, so you what, now you need to use your melee. You have to use your melee unarmed grab. Melee oh. unarmed grab. Oh, again, again. No, I have advantage. I have advantage. Oh. I have advantage. Oh my God. You have advantage. <laughs> you, got a, you got a critical <laughs> fail. You got a critical fail. <laughs> Thank God. It's a good thing you declared it. It's a good thing you declared that. Yeah. Blessing of the Wampus. Praise Wampus. <laughs> Praise Wampus. And then do I add just the plus three for my courage? Because I'm going to just use it anyways. So do I just use the plus three now? Sure, if you want. If you want. If you're going to use it anyways, go ahead. How many courage? Let's go. 19? Let's go! Okay, so I'm going to roll. I have to beat a nine. The snitch has to beat a 19 for you to catch it. Oh, come on. Here it goes. Park, don't do this. <laughs> yeah! 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 We won! We won! We did it! <laughs> We did it! <laughs> so, oh. cinematically, cinematically, here's what's happening. So, Chess is getting ready to do whatever's happening to Quaffle. Juan grabs the Quaffle, and he's so proud of himself. Says, "Yeah, I have the Quaffle." Finn oh. is like gunning towards, um, towards the Bludgers. Albion is falling down to the ground, but sliding down the ground, and then Chance. He's like, it's coming right for him. Like that snitch, like that that lucky bo that lucky bee. That snitch is coming right to chance, and his luck is like really helping him out. But then out of nowhere, <laughs> Levi just swoops, and I will let Brandon like give us a cinematic of this moment when Levi. Oh, Levi! Levi's nervous. His palms are sweaty. He's like. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. He reaches out for it with his eyes closed, just unable to, it just snatches at it and grabs it. And then like, he doesn't even know if he has it or not. And then he like opens his eyes, opens his hand and it's just right there in his hand. Leave, I did it. <laughs> I didn't suck. <laughs> Boris Hooch like blows the whistle. The golden snitch has been caught by the Leo Zodiac Champion, Team Wampus wins! Team and Wampus. everyone starts, starts cheering, Team Wampus! <laughs> I'm Team gonna, Wampus! I'm gonna try and make my face turn into a Wampus face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do I that. I did that. I do when that. I get to the ground, I want to use Polymorph cell to turn myself <laughs> to Wampus. Yeah, go ahead and use Polymorph. Go ahead and use it. Can I can I ride up and like yeah I want to do like loops around Levi <laughs> just like this guy this guy Wait, he's just here. like still just looking at it and shocked <laughs> like he hasn't even for my nothing. for, <laughs> he's for just, my spell I add my spellcraft my intelligence and my what if you have a spell in transfiguration okay so that it's is a plus transfiguration 10. it's a plus ten then. okay. Al's just on the ground, like, relieved that he doesn't have to get back 
<laughs> I don't have my magic. My magic for what is it? Actually, um, just like as this is happening, I would like to like descend by Al if I can. Yeah. I do that. You can do that. Um. So, the while while everybody's cheering everyone's names and people are you know. Uh, Carlos or the mascot, the Wampus mascot, is like getting crazy and wild and doing all these flips, and um, you turn into a Wampus. I turn into a Wampus and be like, Rah! "Ooh, that is so cool!" And and then people are, are 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 screaming out, "Team Wampus! Team Wampus!" Like it was Rox, Roxy, Roxy, but now it's Team Wampus. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Wampus! Wampus!" Wampus, and then uh, I'm gonna say Nico. <sighs> he sighs and he just shakes his head. Man, oh, he said, and he sees that um, Albion is is on the ground, so he he immediately flies towards Albion's direction. Hmm. Um, and and uh, Nico will 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 fly next to Al, and he'll he'll like give him a pat on the shoulder, and he says, "You alright, buddy?" Yeah, it's it's over, right? We we're done. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I was only getting warmed up. I mean, I scored the first goal and... That was pretty awesome. I mean... I guess Levi was too fast. You, not only did you score, but you scored against Chessa. That was pretty cool. So Chessa kind of scares me a bit. Uh, I thought she... I, I thought maybe... You know, I, I knew for sure it was going to go in. But then I had a, you know, a little bit of doubts near the end. I mean, thanks to that goal, you guys got what, like second place, right? <laughs> yeah, that's got to count for something, right? Second place? Oh yeah, we dominated Team Bukwaji. You all were afraid of Bukwaji. They're not that strong. <laughs> They're not that strong at all. And he's while well, he's he's saying that um, these uh, these birds are like starting to circle over <laughs> Nico's heads. <laughs> <laughs> And Nico like looks up, and then ah, like something like falls in his eye. Ah, oh, Tritessa, and Tritessa sort of just laughing, <laughs> laughing a little bit at that. Um, am I able to approach? I wanna say, I'm gonna run yeah. in my wampus form. I wanna run and like into Levi, like ah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I like, I kind of float over and I hop off my broom by the, the two dudes and I'm like, oh, Nicole, you have uh, something on your face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, what is that, that spell again? He, he sort of waves his wand and he enchants the cleaning spell to like clean off the stuff off of his face. Ugh. Asa insisted I learn the spell. Guess I should thank her for that. <laughs> Um, Roxana's gonna clap her hand on our shoulder and she's like, you all right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's done. I hopefully never have to get on a tree again, and we won! We did win. Oh, Levi, that was pretty awesome. I didn't get to really watch it, but... Looks like I he... Saw it. <laughs> it was good. I'll have to congratulate Snowflake later. Where, but, um, where were you, by the way? Weren't you supposed to be over here saving me from those bludgers? About that. And she looks up at the big, like, ice thing you made, and she's like, that's my fault. I should have been there. I'm sorry. I said, hey, it's, it's all right. We we made it. Nobody got hurt, except, how's Juan? Is he okay? I saw him take a hit. Yeah. He looks all right. He, he's, still, he's still holding on to the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wampus. And then she looks around, she's like, oh, actually, no, he's turned into a wampus. <laughs> can I hop on your, your tree so we can go congratulate yeah. our team? Let's go. And we'll get on. Play with. <laughs> You'll go over to your team, and and, and in any moment that um, Juan is not, you know, yeah. not like go, going all over of Levi, I'm going to say that chance slowly flies towards you slowly and she says he says well levi you just that thing was coming straight for me and you just couldn't let me have it could you 
he, he's still like first time ever in his life speechless. <laughs> just all that. I I I don't even know what happened to be honest. Uh, this is weird. I don't think we have the third best. I think we have the first best Quidditch player on this team. Thank you. <laughs> Did um, you say that to him? Yeah, I said that. His eyes like start to visibly tear up a bit. <laughs> like, wow, oh. ah, dang, I got some, some snow or something. Be, I'm going to cancel my spell and go back to human form and be like, yeah, no, I'm 100% agree with that. Levi, you were the star. Oh, well, I... It was. I was super nervous. This is the first time I've ever actually played. This is crazy. Hey Levi, listen, listen to what they're saying over there, over at the Castello Bruscio side, and you hear people saying, "Lost Levi found it. Lost Levi oh, found it. Lost hey, Levi found, found it. Lost oh, Levi found it." Oh, there's all this snow it. all over the place, just like all in my eyes, guys. I don't know what to do. Uh, this is. Uh, you should have warned us about the snow. You should have warned us about I, this. I know, <laughs> you know what, it's, it's my fault. Ah, yeah, yeah, I would have been ready for it. I would have worn some sunglasses. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna hook my, my arm around Levi, actually, and I'm kind of gonna lean forward um, to look at Chance, and I'm gonna say, guess you weren't that lucky, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that snitch was coming straight for me without moving, so I, I would say that that was still pretty lucky. <laughs> I should have known to stand by <laughs> I should have known it. Uh, uh. Tritessa um, f- f- flies over and um, she she looks at Levi and she says, You did good. Thanks. When Juan gets to Nayela, he's going to lean towards her and like, Hey, how are you? Uh, how are you feeling? Ah, uh, a little embarrassed, but yeah. At least I got to hold the quaffle way longer than both of you boys combined. She says. How dare you? I took that quaffle away from you and run away with it, and there was nothing you could have done about that. Uh, I suppose near the very end, but I mean, just saying, you know, my wounds will heal. But these words, oh, they're gonna linger, Della Devera. They'll linger for a bit. Not even when you lose, you will admit defeat. <laughs> uh, uh, she, but she says, it's okay. This is only one of four. One of four events. You might have won the battle, but not the war. Oh, you better prepare. But, but I gotta be honest. You did snatch that away from Nico. I couldn't have done that. I mean, I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You rock. I did. Yes, his team still got second, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We'll we'll be more prepared next time. Yeah, we'll be ready. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna definitely 100% crush you. So be ready for that. Uh, Roxana awkwardly scratching the back of her neck. <laughs> so. Uh, like the game, huh? <laughs> She's really awkward. <laughs> Nayla says, "Yeah, yeah." She says, "So, so, so, um, we, uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have cleaned off the rock star off of the trees, and you might have been a little bit nicer to us." She says, "Maybe we should have kept it on the trees." Uh, first of all, uh, nothing personal, pure strategy, and second of all. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that. Eh, it's part of the game. I mean, no offense, but I would have done the exact same thing if I was beaten. Hey, no offense taken. If you'd hit me, I would have been offended about you know. <laughs> and she smiles and kind of laughs. <laughs> like, clearly joking. Finn is going to um, fly over towards Levi. Hmm. And Finn goes over to Levi and... He will, uh, he will hold out a hand to give him a shake. Uh, he'll, like, hold out the opposite hand, but shake like that, because he's still <laughs> holding the snitch in his right hand. <laughs> hmm. He'll give it a, he'll give it a shake, and he says, good game. Ah, uh, thanks, uh, yeah, I, I didn't even see what was going on anywhere else, I was just paying attention to this thing, so I don't know what happened, but I'm sure you did great too. He looks over at Nico and he says, I might have got a little carried away. Hey, hey, sorry, just between, like, you and me, you guys are, were you guys ever a thing? 
Oh god. He, 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 his face kind of changes a bit. Um, and he sort of looks a little bit green and nauseous, like... Oh god! Like he's about to, like, <laughs> like, 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 throw up. No. Green. No. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you all would just, you know, a thing, you know. You guys seem to have some sort of hostility between each other. I don't like pig noses, he says. <laughs> Pinch. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Finn's got some. <laughs> a little sass on him. A little sass on him. About... Pig... I think pig noses are kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Levi, that's right. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Rox. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he says, well, let's just hope that this wind doesn't get to her head. Oh. It already uh, he looks over and is like, I'm sure it already has, but, you know, my team really needed this. Congrats, he says. Mm, we're not going to make it any easier for you on the second event, though. Yeah, I wonder what the second event's even going to be. That's crazy. I don't know. But, that's for tomorrow. Today, it's your day, kid. Uh, the snow? I mean, what is with the snow in this place? Always just... <laughs> um, he will give you a nod, and Finn actually will also fly towards Juan. And he'll give Juan a, like, a pat on... Finn will give Juan a pat on the back. Congrats. Thanks. Oh. Oh, thank you, Finn. You know, I we couldn't have done this without you. You are the real MVP. You're a really good student. You're probably one of the better ones that I had. Nico is my tougher student. Oh, yeah. He sort of says that begrudgingly, because, mm -hmm. you know, he taught Nico a little bit, thing or two, and he still got second place, so... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... Really, I couldn't have... Done this. I mean, I cut a, a quaffle. Do you know what that means? This is one of the greatest achievements in my life because I suck at any sport and I actually got the quaffle. Thank you, man. We should hang, hang out someday. Get to know each other better. Totally. I would like that very much. We should. He's gonna like <laughs> high five him. He'll give you a high five and he'll clasp your hand. He won't even congratulate me. <laughs> Good news. Oh, my brother just tortured me. All right, everyone. All right, we need to gather all of the champions together so that we can give go through the award ceremony. It's Boris Hooch says. So everybody's gonna get lined up and they're gonna be put into like first, second, third place. So you know you have like, the, you know the elevated steps where they they put everyone down, and so. They put you onto the first, second, third place positions, um, and all of the banners around the stadium transforms to Wampus because the Wampus yes. team has won. And they will say that, so the points that you have collected during this Quidditch game are the points that you will be uh, carrying over towards the future events. So starting with the first event at the end, we have team. Uh, we have team Pukwaji at negative ten points. We have team Horn Serpent with ten points, and at <laughs> one hundred and twenty points is team Wampus, and everybody starts cheering. We did it! We did it! Woo! The only one who did anything in this game was Levi. That that score marker represents that. No, Nico did a lot because like everybody else I was writing for only had like two things. Nico has like a whole list of things he was doing. I was going to attempt to do a thing, and I don't think this is allowed, so I might have gotten in trouble. But I was going to attempt to like if he missed the snitch to try and see it. And if I saw it to smack it towards you, that's why I was asking if you had your hand stretched and you didn't oh, make it, oh, Matt, I could have smacked cool. it right into oh. your hand. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to try and do that, but like, this is cooler. <laughs> and um, Boris uh, will continue and say, will say congratulations to the winners, but 
that's not all. And Kazima Valentina will say, that's right. There are still more points to be given because in addition to how well you succeed in the events, all of the professors have been watching very closely what's been going on with all of the different teams over the course of the two weeks as well as today. And we have bonus points to award. First mm. of all, bonus points. several of us have gotten together and we have first chosen the best champion introduction. And I think that the one who is probably the most entertaining and charming is Nico's mm -hmm. presentation. Because and so for him, we will be giving his team 20 points. Yo, yeah, we got 20 more points. We're up to 30. <laughs> 20 points. Secondly, the judges have also been watching the event closely, and we would like to award a special points for creativity and fast thinking to Albion Mermont for his yeah. amazing uh, use uh, of his fountain ooh, spell. Ooh. He will get 30 points. Yeah, he didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> I'm gonna like ruffle his hair. <laughs> he's sitting there shivering. <laughs> I forgot he's cold. Points for sportsmanship. We observed that Aika was was willing to provide one of his opposing teammates with a potion that he brewed in order to help assist them. So to his po team, he gets 20 points. Yeah, we're up to 50! 50 points! 50 points! I'm gonna and nudge last... rocks and be like, didn't they see the part where you had to beg for it? <laughs> we're not talking about that. I, I, I'll be ever. back in a second. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be back. And last but not least, we have, um, we have a one more points to give out that show true sportsmanship and modesty and humility. There was one person in the team who went out of their way to not only help train their teammates on Quidditch, but all of the other teammates as well. His patience and his willingness to help others, even though they are not on the same team, is exactly what this competition is about. And therefore, we would like to thank and honor Finn for his Ooh, attempt to train the other uh, members, awarding him 50 points. Ooh. I'm gonna clap. Go, Finn! And everyone go. just starts like, going to Finn, and everyone just starts clapping. I'll clap. Um, and, and, Finn. <laughs> and Finn looks very like surprised. Like he, he was like, oh, really? Like, oh, 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 okay, thanks. He looks very like, he starts to blush a little bit. Um, very shyly. And uh, yeah, everybody else, all of the NPCs across the other teams agree. And they're like, yeah, Finn. Yeah, thank you, Finn. Um, so that means the final scores, we have Team Pakwaji at 40 points, Team Horned Serpent at 50 points, and Team Wampus at 150 points. But yes. it is still anyone's game. We still have three events left. For now, everyone, please gather over to the banquet hall out of the cold where we will be providing food, refreshments for everyone here, um, for all of our contestants to enjoy and honor each other. Thank you. Yes. And then there's a big applaud. Yay. Ooh, oh, there goes my phone again. <laughs> it just keeps dropping. Um, so is everyone like filing out? Yeah, everyone's starting to file out. Can I quickly go over to Finn? God damn it, he will love my pig nose. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I just quickly run over and she's kind of going to look. She can't help it. She looks a bit smug. And okay. <laughs> it's going straight to her. She looks, she can't help it. So she goes over with a smug look on her face and she's like, so looks like we beat you with our own skill. And she does like a really goofy smile. <laughs> Did you? He says, did you? Or did your teams cheat? Yeah. Actually, I really did consider cheating. But then I remembered that you said that. And I just, I really did this out of spite. But, um, look. Look at the shit. It wouldn't have been... <laughs> she looks around. It wouldn't have been possible without you, so... I guess this victory is 
also yours? I don't know. That's not really humbling, I guess. It's not really a compliment, but... We're still last place. Well, you, you went out of your way to help others, and... Anyway. That's good. That's a good thing. Anyway, I'll, uh... I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's, she's like, this is all good for me. I'm always, I just wanted to say that. Like, <laughs> Thanks, he says. Uh, she stops, like, dead in her tracks, and she's, she wants to turn around and look, and she just says... I'm, I'm not gonna say it again. And she kind of, like, goes to look, but then she thinks better of it, and she sort of nods to herself, and he's walking. <laughs> All right. But she did definitely hesitate when he said it. All right. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So you guys are going to be, you know, celebrating, people are socializing, and while you're having your banquet, uh, everyone roll a perception hearing, please. Um, take an advantage on this one. Uh, Levi? Ten. Ten. Oh, wait, no, eight. Sorry. Eight. eight. So everyone is, of course, talking about the game, and they're like, wasn't it cool when that one guy, like, used the spell to slide down in the snow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And wasn't it, like, that guy, I think his name is Juan, he transformed into a wampus? That was, that was super cool and stuff like that. Um, so people are, are, are talking about it. In addition, I'm going to say that both Levi and... Um, Juan, 